I just thought it was l such a, a kind of tricksy, sort of multi-layered, multi-twisting um, spy story. But not just about the story, about what it is to be a spy in this particular town as David sees it at this time. And I thought it was a really different view of that, that whole genre, really. Um, uh, so yeah, those are the things I think that drew me to it. And then again, the character of Percival just being such a, a combustible, self-combusting reprobate. I like the idea that he was a proper spy trusted with national secrets and that he was, you know, making political moves on his own, on his own terms, on behalf of Britain in the most volatile um, section of Europe at that time. <laughs> I thought that was kind of fun. Um, and he also made me laugh, so I was up for that. This new person coming in uh, and him not getting consulted on it represents a massive threat. He also knows that this person coming in is majorly badass and that she is uh, on a level of operative that is on a different, you know, she's almost like black ops compared to him. I know what it's like to do all that physical stuff, but the amount she's got to do is incredible. So, no, I'm full of admiration for her because she brings a lot of intensity to the character anyway in the talking stuff, you know, the talking stuff. And uh, But then with the fighty-fighty stuff, she's just as intense and brings a, fit, a level of physical energy to it, which is formidable. David Percival has gone feral. Uh, I think he represents a breed of... Uh, operative who kind of gets way too seduced by the environment instead of the job and in this sort of kraut rock um, contraband sort of under uh, under the line kind of world that they inhabit he has definitely become quite depraved and is really enjoying uh, his time in Berlin. He is, uh, I suppose, loosely uh, in charge of the Berlin station um, for MI6. Um, and it's such a kind of Wild West kind of town. It's such a kind of Dodge City of the espionage world that he's very much allowed to play by his own rules. 